When you say you write to Santa, do you, do you write a, a, a present list? Yeah. To this day? To this day, when I'm 27. It uh, it's delivered... I still live with my parents, still live with um, Dave and Helen. Great guys. <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> do you have siblings? I've got my sister, Beth, who's 30. She also has to write to Santa. Right. Is she living at home as well? And she lives at home as well. Are they not letting you out? Are they not... <laughs> <laughs> it's very comfortable there. It sounds it, yeah. It sounds it. Um, and, yeah, so I still have to... And we still have to put out mince pies. You have, they, want, they ask you to write to Santa, your mum and dad. Yeah, and if I sort of say, are you sure he's, he's you know, real? And they're like... Like, that's like you can't say that in our household. Right. Wow. Um, and are they all right, you folks? <laughs> when you when say I say I live at home, we live in a home. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sheltered accommodation. Yeah. It's not by any chance a windowless basement. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> um, and yes, yeah, so uh, but yes, yeah, so we, uh, like, yeah, it's basically just an opportunity for me to uh, my sister to leave out whiskey. That's the other thing. If there isn't whiskey, I'm legally old enough to buy the whiskey to leave out for Santa, yeah, which is basically just my father's way of going, could you just get some whiskey in, cos I want a whiskey on. <laughs> so the whole, the whole thing's set up just so... Cos your mum won't let you dad have whiskey. <laughs> and I try and catch them out sometimes, so, like, one Christmas, every... All of my gifts were labelled from Santa. There wasn't one from Mum and Dad. So I said to them, I said, well, where are your gifts, then? Good one. <laughs> See, my dad was very clever with that, so what he would do is all the presents that were, like, educational and a bit boring, from Santa. Oh. <laughs> the bike from Dad. <laughs> do you do that now? I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm a bit like that as well. well you, you work, I'm yeah. working all year round here for this. Do you have a main present? Yeah, I still do the main present and the... Uh, and then the periphery present. There was always a shared present for me and my brothers as well. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, yeah. it was pretty bad. That's yeah, yeah sharing. <laughs> you don't want to promote that, do you? It's Christmas. It's <laughs> Christmas! <laughs> I'm not good at receiving gifts. No. Oh, and I don't like it when the person wants you to respond in a certain way. Oh, do you feel the pressure? Yeah. Yeah. Well, don't you like it? No. No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can take it away with that's, you. That's Christmas. Well, you can take it back to the shop if you want. I've got... I don't want to take... I don't want to go near the shop. <laughs> don't give me anything. Because this whole thing hadn't happened. <laughs> I'm very ungrateful. <laughs> and then leave the receipt. Yeah. Oh, you can take it back. It's a gift just, receipt, though, yeah. so you don't know if they actually spent 14 quid. Just added admin to my life. <laughs> <laughs> just, just pop round to a shop. We used to have... My dad had this green ledger, and he used to. we had to open our presents in strict order. Oh. And so then he would write down who it was from so we could write our thank you letters. Oh, that's Until nice. one year I wrote to Mrs Cope, I think it was, I'm 12, I don't want a knitted soldier. No, thank you. Wow. And that was the end of the thank you note. And also the end of any presents from Mrs. Co. <laughs> my, I remember my dad, I remember being about 10, and we used to share, we used to share a bed, me and my brothers, and uh, it was, and we'd, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't Angela's ashes, but we, we were poor. And uh, so we'd share a bed, and so we'd be dead excited on, on Christmas Eve. And I remember what, like my dad did it a couple of times, but I specifically remember this year because my dad wasn't into Christmas at all. Uh, in a sort of pretend dad way, where he wasn't happy about it, the shopping, the tinsel, the, he wouldn't put lights on the, on the windows because he, he was like, why am, I, why am I entertaining the rest of the street? You know, let's just put things on the inside of the house. And uh, he was into that sort of thing. So Entertaining? Yeah, entertaining. <laughs> you walk past the house and go, ooh, that's entertaining. <laughs> I, I remember one year, it was Christmas Eve, we were all excited, lying in bed, and uh, there was, like, jingle bells. Like, there was bells, like, sleigh bells outside. And, oh, what we thought was outside. We're like, I was, I was, my brother's up. I was like, Stephen, Colin, I think I can hear Santa. Santa's here. And they, we were all up, and we opened the, um, the bedroom window, and we leant out, and we're trying to find and trying to have a look uh, where he is. And then, after about four or five minutes of this, my dad burst in. What's going on? Why are you up? I said, what? Santa's outside. We just had, we just had the bells outside. And my dad, he would go over to the window and he'd lean right out and he'd go, "I don't care who you are, get off the bloody roof with them reindeer." <laughs> <laughs> and it was like a whole little thing that he just set up for us. Oh, oh, well, that's... within his character, you know. If you enjoyed that, remember to subscribe to Dave and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our fresh content. Let us know in the comments who you'd like to see join me around the table and head over to UK TV Play where you can stream old episodes of As Yet Untitled for free.